Good morning. Well, it's happened again. I'm Bill Schneider and this morning around 730 an 18-wheeler carrying large paper rolls was hit by an eastbound train in Gulfport. Now, this incident happened at the 33rd Street crossing. And if you've been watching the news, you know this spot has become notorious for train versus truck incidents. She goes, is that the train? I said, yeah. I said, forget it. It's too late now. And that by the end, it boom. OK, stop me if you've heard this before. A tractor trailer gets stuck on the railroad tracks and a train hits it. Well, that's happened again here in Gulfport on Thursday morning, right around 730. The rig you see behind me, the cab got over the railroad tracks, but the trailer was stuck. It got hit by the train heading east. Mm -hmm. This is the second one that's happened in about six months. Mike Wolfson lives right here. In fact, take a look at this video. One of those rolls almost hit his truck. Been living here 24 years, and this is a third type of trailer that's been hit right here, and plus two people that's been hit by trains and automobiles that's got killed. On the other side of 33rd Avenue, Michaela Domingo lives in this house. I heard the noise and I thought, sounds familiar, <laughs> but I really didn't think it's going to happen twice, but it did. She's also seen this scene play out far too many times. So we see trucks come down here every single day, and most of the time they bottom out. This is a very high railroad track, and it's happened. I've seen four trucks bottom out here since I've lived here, and this is the second one that's got hit this year. Because the track trailer drivers can't really see these big, these little yellow signs right here until they get right up on them. As we said, the good news, nobody injured. However, another incident where a tractor trailer gets stuck on the tracks and gets hit by a train. We're scared that it's going to come from the other way and a train will derail or a person would actually get hurt. Luckily, their trailer always, their truck always makes it off before the trailer does, so they're always okay. But, but I have heard that before we moved in here, there were incidences where cars flew into the yard. Now, you might remember a similar incident at the 33rd Avenue crossing when a train hit a truck carrying bananas that happened back in February. The good news there, no one was hurt in that incident either.